winter is coming. Need coffee. Okay, so this is a just short video of my um, basic toolkit. Um, uh, previous videos on about DIY. Oh no, on the uh, on the Yellow Peril channel. I was on about the whether people use DIY maintenance or if they go to uh, professionals and uh, I was saying to Bex88 that I don't really have that many tools, I used to have a load of tools years ago but uh, nowadays I've, I have very few and it's surprising how much you can actually get done on a bike with a few tools, tools I'm going to show you now um, cost in total I think about 25 30 pound so say you bought one tool every couple of weeks or every month whatever you'd soon have a, you know a, a kit that's good enough these are all cheap tools from um, cheap shop cheap shops which I'll talk about uh, in a moment so with most bikes as well you get the uh, actually let me put my hands in Ooh, so so not just looking at a boring boring background thing um, so in most uh, bikes, you get a uh, toolkit under the seat, which allows you to do basic stuff on the bike. It'll allow you to get you know things off and things tightened, which is good. So, but for um, a bit more, you know, it's not something that you want to be using uh, over and over because the tools in there tend to be a little bit uh, flimsy. So they'll do the job, but they're not what you not what you would use all the time. Love it. Okay, so a set of spanners. All right, if you uh, hopefully you can see this. So these are black spur, which is a cheap make, but they're actually good. Um, metric spanners go from size eight up to nineteen, which covers most things on the bike, unless you've got a bike that's not metric. In which case, you need to be buying. Imperial stuff, or that other weird, weird one. So these, I've had these for years. That was probably about a fiver from, and like I said, I buy these from cheap places. b and in Bargains I use around here is another place called Biology. Uh, you don't have to pay a lot of money. You can pay a lot of money for spanners and ratchets and all sorts of things, but unless you, you know, you're going to be using them day in, day out, these will be fine. And, um, if you've got a big nut that's you're having trouble getting off, you can rock it out. You can uh, stick them on and use it as a use it as a bar to go against it. I'm doing that the wrong way. Stick that end on. Do do do. Stick that on there. Or so you extend it. Easy peasy. I need to go out and buy massive spanners for that sort of thing. So there we go, so that's about fiver. Um, I was in a shop yesterday, Biology, which had a set similar to this socket set that I'm about to show you, and that was a fiver. This is my, I've had this one for years. This is my, uh, can you see that? Oh, pretty done with My uh, kitchen roll because otherwise when you turn this upside down these will fall out. So in here this Allen key is to get my mirrors off. Um, the set is as is and on the use that, and that and the number 10, 12. Yeah, those two on this bike. Um, I also use this arm with these, if you have Allen bolts on your bike, I definitely recommend getting. This is probably the most, yeah, this is the most expensive thing I bought tool-wise for the uh, the bike, and um, this was about twelve quid from Machine Mart, and it's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine mil um, bits. The uh, this one here, this one takes all my fairing bolts out 
and there's a couple of other bits on the bike that use the, the bigger ones as you can see and um, these are actually toughened you know toughened steel so they don't round like these do so if I use one of these or if you go to cheap shop and buy a set of these they bend and they um, they round the ruined really bolts and then you end up having to drill your bolts out whereas these you get your ratchet you stick it on stick it in Bob's your auntie excellent so yeah so that's the most expensive bit expensive thing I've bought um, also over time you actually get to you'll um, augment your toolkit with lots of other little bits that are useful this uh, pin here and this pin here, I don't know if you can really see those um, I use those when I'm doing anything with my brakes because I had to drill through um, the caliper in order to get off the, uh, the, the pin that goes through and holds the brake shoes in place so I had to fashion myself, that's an old uh, darning needle that one and that's out of a, uh, a photo frame your know, photo picture frame thing. So yeah, so little bits like that will be added to your arsenal. All right. Uh, I've also got a pair of pliers, a couple of quid, chrome vanadium, a screwdriver with different bits. This set. In particular, ah, I've got a couple of these because on my bike I need to use one of those to take a couple of the fairing and um, the smaller fairing bolts off because the if you have an Allen key that small, they don't tend to last very well. They tend to be quite soft. Get in. I also have a larger ratchet for getting my wheels off. That was only a couple of quid again. Um, you'll find that in your underbike kit, you don't really, you, I think you have one that might fit on the wheel, but it's not really good enough if you're doing any adjustments, like uh, adjusting your chain. So I've got one of those. And last but not least, a filter, oil filter wrench. Thing. If you put your oil filter, oil filter on yourself and do it correctly, you shouldn't need one of these, but it's handy to have. Um, and also if you have a look on Del Boy's garage, he's got a couple of other tips for getting your um, oil filter off, but that's that's what I use. Um, and that's, you know, basically you've got your other, other bits and pieces, screwdrivers. Um, I've got a couple of other ratchet handles. Um, we just have a look around here yeah, see what else I've got. Just, just bits and pieces that you pick up as you go along. You know, brushes, wire brushes. Uh, that's that's it. So yeah, so you don't really need that much. You don't need that many tools to be able to do pretty much everything that's in your Haynes book of lies. And anything else that you need to do, you can just pick up as you go along. Um, yeah. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope that was useful.